Ya, hello mga kometa, kamusta kayo dyan? Sabi ka, abol tayo dito. Picasso, you want to exercise? Nag-exercise na si Picasso. Ayan, nagpa-exercise kami ni Picasso kanina pa. Kaya sabi ko, bago tayo, babalik sa mga chores natin. Mag-hi, hello naman tayo dyan sa mga ating mga kometa, mga nagmamahal sa atin. Thank you, by, by the way, dun sa mga nanonood ng ating latest interview kay Ambassador uh, Romualdez. Picasso, say hi. Oh, oh man. Uh... Salamat naman dun sa mga nanonood kay Ambassador Romualdez yung, uh, yung interview namin about foreign policy ni Marcos Jr. about uh, yung ating relasyon sa Estados Unidos sa China at mga Hapon yan, yeah, mga bagay-bagay na pinag-usapan natin mga kometa ayan, si Picasso Picasso let's go speed mode let's go let's go fast fast Pass, pass. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Nag live on the Picasso. Let's go. Olympics. Yo, no. Ay. Nakita ni <laughs> si Picasso. Yeah, and anyway, mga kameta. Whew. Good exercise. I know. For misses, intensity exercise si Picasso. Hindi, ito mga kameta. I hope na-enjoy na yan. Please watch it. Dahil napakaganda ng mga explanations ni Ambassador dun sa ating foreign policy and all. Anyway, check it on. Check it yourself mga kameta. Ito, balikan natin itong topic na ito. Ay, ang mga may na lang, uh, pag maayos na. Pag-usapan natin. Hindi, ito ito mga kameta. I was thinking, uh, parang kapon yata, hindi clear yung, hindi clear yung, wala na, umingan lang. Parang kapon, hindi clear yung meta yata natin nang sa gabi. Eh, and I was thinking siguro, ano, balikan natin yung topic niyan because I think it's quite something relevant. Hindi itong topic ng ano ha, yung RCEP. Na-discuss na natin yan mga kameta, yung RCEP na yan. Of course, I discussed na sana may proper safeguards and industrial and, and trade policy ang ating gobyerno to deal with the, or to mitigate yung mga potentially negative impact ng mga imports, massive imports that are expected, especially in the agricultural sector and some uh, manufacturing sectors, no? Kung saan medyo may vulnerability tayo at hindi tayo ganang kalakas. Oh, by the way, mga kameda, speaking of manufacturing, Nalang yung sinunod natin na ano, purple kapon oh, na binili natin sa sa Spain sa sa Bernabeo Stadium Thank you again kay Manolet Sinama tayo nun Siya rin nang nag-confirm nung sa choice natin about that Siyempre may jelo ka na tayo so talagang tinignan natin na mabuti ano mga affordable and all there Now, speaking of manufacturing, actually, mga kameta, isa sa mga frustrations ko is, kung ikaw ay mahilig sa sports, ng gym, at ikaw mahilig bumili ng mga Adidas or Nike, although, sale, in our case, yung mga hinihintay sa uh, Zalora ba yan? Yan, nakahintay. 60% off, 11-11. Mga 25% off, plus 50, 500 pesos, ano, yung mga ganun. Hindi. Siyempre, mga kameta, isa sa mga frustrations natin doon is, Pati na ikita natin, it's either made in Vietnam or made in Cambodia or sometimes uh, made even by European countries. Of course, usually dati puro made in China yan, di mga kameta. Eh, kahapon tinignan natin mga kameta, made in the Philippines pala yung suit natin. Kaya, tuwang-tawa talaga tayo doon. Uh, parang first time ko nakita na isang Adidas na made in the Philippines in a very long time. Alam ko nung mga 1980s mga kameta, sa atin yung mga Lee, Jag, baka hanggang ngayon, no? but, but a lot of uh, textile industries, global textile industries, meron silang production centers dito sa Pilipinas. No? And that was one of my biggest frustrations na wala tayong ganun. Anyway, yun lang. Now, balikan natin yung topic kahapon because I felt that was, a, that was an interesting issue that I felt, sana naman kung pag-usapan natin, dapat medyo matinutin. No? Wait lang, atakbo muna kami. Diyasa ng punti. Para lang traffic. Let's go, let's go. 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 Let's go.
Wala na, pagod na. Pagod na si Wigaso. Wala na. Kanina pa kami. Tumakbo kami all the way from the other side. Ngayon, pabalik na kami. Hindi, ito mga... Wigaso, <laughs> pagod ka na. Nako, wow na yan. Ano natin yan mamaya? <laughs> ito mga kameta. Paligan ko yung topic kapon. Kasi may mga nagreklamo dyan. Sino ba yan? Si Mike ba yan? Si Mike Rojas Camacho. Sabi niya, mag-ano na lang ako. Elon Musk Starlink Wala, ang mahal nun Magsiset up ka lang, 3.5 na yata, no? Awa, anin No, I want, gusto ko baligan yung topic na yan ng konti Although I think we have to have a proper discussion about Vico Soto again Hindi, yeah, I was saying kahapon In fairness naman kay Joy Belmonte You know, she She has defied A lot of critics People accusing her of being trouble and all of that things. So I'm glad. I'm glad. I want to see that continuing, mga kameta. At the same time, parang last year ko pa nakikita yan eh. Yung parang may mga iba dyan na toxic na tao. Parang gusto nila i-cancel si, si Vico Soto. I was not taking it as seriously dahil busy rin tayo sa mga Epal. Dyan sa Twitter, mga others na tayo naman ng inano. Ay nako. By the way, most sa mga haters na yun, ito pa yung mga walang yung tao na hindi pa rin nag-apologize sa Pulse Asia at yung mga ibang mga ahensya survey agencies na ay nako, ay nako, ay nako, ay nako, yung mga ganun tao. So, I think there's still a lot of people there. You know who you are. You still owe big apology sa Pulse Asia and ibang mga survey agencies. Of course, may mga ibang sur- survey agency daw na may talagang questionable. Pero I'm sorry, pagdating sa Pulse Asia and SWS, Legit talaga yung dalawa na yan. So, alam niya. Alam na sino mga yan. Anyway, yung mga self-righteous, toxic, ano na yan. Epal na yan. Last year pa yata, parang kinakansan nila si Vico Soto. And I felt parang, hmm, what's that, di ba? What's that all about? Now, obviously, I think the major trigger was when si Isco, when si Isco was, uh, you know, attacking Lenny and all of the during the press conference. I'm sorry about that. Uh, and I think people were expecting him to come out and, I don't know, condemn them or whatever. But of course, let's not forget na initially, kaparte din dalawa na yan. And later on, of course, Vico Soto, out of question of principles and convictions, of course, na quit siya in sa party nila ni Isko, di ba? Uh, we already discussed that we had the meta about this mga kameta. Uh, panorin nyo na yan. Hindi ko na kailang balikan yan. May mga nas- naisulat din tayo dyan. Now, the thing though is, ngayon naman, itong panahon ng ETSA, ina-attack na naman siya. At uh, I felt naman, I felt naman, sobrang pawan niya talaga. Hindi, <laughs> para sa akin talaga, ano yun? Ano yan? Medyo coops yan. Dahil, si... Vico naman, pumunta siya doon sa isang area sa kanyang syudad kung saan may kinalaman din sa ETSA at legacy ni Ninoy. So, nagpakitang, ano naman siya, nagpakitang respeto siya. I mean, no less than President Ferdinand Margaret Jr. din ay nagpadala ng wreath and, and uh, you know, nag-unity, unity moment naman siya. But at least he extended the olive branch or at least rhetorically talk about reconciliation, etc. Di ba? So, my point is, yung kay Vico, he did what he did, di ba? At the same time, we have to keep in, into, uh, you know, keep things in perspective. Kasi katulad ng sinabi natin ng mga kameta, unang-una, si Vico Soto po, ay, ay, he's a different kind of politician. In fact, he's not even a politician if you look at it. He's more along the lines of what you call a statesman, no? Public servant, no? To use the more modern language, no? And in a way, I see a lot of similarities between him and Mayor Magalong here in Baguio, you know? So, a person also I'm very familiar with. Uh, we interviewed mga kameta, of course, napanood niyan. Ang, ang, ang ambag ng mga ganyan classing public servants is as much as possible, focus on delivering competent, good, data-based governance and do not polarizing 
distract you from what you're supposed to do. Now, that doesn't mean that wala kang convictions or principles sa buhay. That just means that you have to choose your battles and you have to choose saan mo i-deploy yung inyong energies, yung inyong efforts and resources. And speaking of resources, of course, we mentioned natin kahapon mga kameta. Ang mga local government units, especially yung mga sa Metro Manila, right? Unlike yung mga trapo dynasties dyan sa mga, you know, peripheries of the country where they control more or less the commanding heights of the economy, not to mention they practically, you know, have their own little kingdoms. Unlike those situations, if you look at the LGU leaders in Metro Manila area, the degree of their policy and fiscal um, maneuverability, no? The room for maneuver nila is not as high. So, kaya pag mayor ka ng isang ciudad dito sa Metro Manila, you have to really, really take into consideration the fact that there could be some serious implications for your budgetary and fiscal space if you engage in certain kinds of political posturing that may piss off the wrong people, right? Now, again, I'm not saying mag mag or whatever. I'm just saying it's a consideration that some people like LGU leaders like in Metro Manila should make in ways that the senator of the republic may not have to, right? Or some trapo dynasty that completely control the commanding heights of a certain province. They have a lot of room for a maneuver. I'm not sure people like Vico have that room for a maneuver. But look, let's also not forget that Vico displaced a political dynasty, a very well entrenched political dynasty. And in, in many ways, I was like a, it was like a political miracle, right? And he really deployed the star power of his family, his father, his own charisma, and his own excellent track record as a councillor in the city to really mobilize the kind of support he needed to dislodge, at least for now, no? A very well entrenched political dynasty that many people consider as untouchable. So, meron ka pang isang angulo kung saan you have a big dynasty is really breathing down your shoulders, right? And then the other thing you have to also take into consideration, mga kameta, is that when it comes to people like Vico, I think he genuinely also has some concerns about a lot of people out there who are just looking for fights, looking for social media fights, looking for relevance, looking for just hating on people and canceling people. And, and, and again, understandable yun because maraming tao talaga ay nadismaya dun sa direksyon natin politika. At maraming tao na mata, mataas ang expectation masyado, kala nila, ayun na naman, pwede na naman mga miracle na naman. Ay mga dismaya na yan, a lot of them are really in this bitter mode. So, siguro, Vico si Vico, you'll talaga choose your next moves, you'll choose the statements you make, etc. But, and this is my last point on this issue again, mga kameta, and like, kailangan natin na bumalik. Balikan ko kayo, mamaya. Kailangan natin na matinong meta talaga eh. Di ba, Picasso? Di ba? Ayan, pagod na si Picasso eh. So, now, mo eh. Ayan. No, no, no. The, the last thing I want to say that is that, in fairness naman kay Vico Soto, he never never walk back any of his convictions driven statements whether on the legacy of the Marcoses, whether on the legacy of Duterte whether on the need for good governance so hindi siya yung tao na binabalikan or binabaliktad yung sinasabi or binawalk back yung sinasabi out of political expediency he has not discarded any of those things and that's a very important thing because yes as common sense as that may seem or dapat lang as that may seem Let's be honest, that's something rare nowadays. So, katulad ng sinabi ng isang follower natin ng Twitter, ilan na nga lang yung talagang progressive na LGU leaders dyan. Gusto pa nila i-cancel yung isa, di ba? So, yun lang, yun lang. So, that really tells us something about the sorry state of discourse. Uy, tara, because let's go. Among at least certain sections of opposition or the louder and unfortunately more dominant, discursively dominant uh, portions of the so-called opposition. All right, mga kameta, balikan ko kayo mamaya. Thank you so much again. Hindi ko lang kung live pa tayo or hindi. Hindi ko nakikita yung mga comments eh. Oops. Oops, Picasso. 
Diyan pala siya. O, magbabay ka na, Picasso. Picasso, magbabay ka na. Yan. Alright, guys. Talk to you soon. Maraming salamat again sa lahat ng mga support tayo, mga comments, suggestions. Balikan ko kayo again later, okay? Pabush. Woo! Yep.